Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel and welcome to day eight of my 25 days of Christmas. So today's video, we're gonna be painting this MDF advent uh, calendar or wooden calendar that I picked up from the works. So this was reduced to 13 pound. They did have specific sort of Christmas shaped ones, um, but I wanted to go for this one because I felt like the other ones, as lovely as they were and they would have looked really nice, would have been a little bit harder to paint, whereas this one was gonna be a lot easier. Um, and I do have something already that I can pop on top, which I will show you. So this has got 25 boxes in here and we're going to paint the boxes. I don't paint the frame on camera um, just because of the size of it and everything. Um, but I will show you that sort of as we go uh, sort of near the end and you'll be able to see how I have painted that. So the first thing I'm going to do is take out all 25 of these boxes. I've stacked them up just off camera and I'm going to do a little undercoat here with some white acrylic paint this is just a cheapy tube again from the works and um, they do do some really great paints from there and the reason I'm doing this is to really stop any of my colored paints from soaking too much uh, into this MDF wood or whatever you know it's made out of um and to also then give the color that you're going to put on a more truer finish so I'm doing all around the edges I'm not doing the inside and I'm trying really carefully uh, to do this as neatly as possible because at the moment or this year should I say I'm not planning to paint the insides of this so with this particular product I or project sorry uh, I did do this a little bit later so it was a little bit close to uh, the 1st of December obviously this is an advent calendar for both me and my husband to use uh, rather than just the normal <laughs> advent calendars um, we really can't be the only adults who still have advent calendars every year but decided to have a go at uh, making this I saw that it was reduced so I didn't have tons of time to go wild on the decoration but what I thought would be really lovely is to kind of do the base of it this year and then when I get it out again next year I can spend a little bit more time then on the decoration and kind of getting it uh, to look a little bit more elaborate than I suppose what I'm going to do with it this year so it's just going to continue and roll in to next year as well. Uh, so for the colours, um, it turns out I didn't actually end up buying any coloured paint, but thankfully I actually had some just lying around. It was a few that I had uh, from the Card Maker of the Year competition, like one of those um, uh, parcels that I got that had a little bit of paint in there. So I ended up using that a tiny bit of what I did have lying around. Um, but because I didn't have tons, I decided to do five boxes in five different colors. So luckily I managed to get myself up to five. We've got two shades of green, two shades of red and a gold as well. And so I was initially gonna mix the colors together because one of the reds, I think it was called Ruby Slipper. It was a little bit brighter than I really wanted to paint this. And I was gonna mix it then with the darker red that I had, but again I didn't really know if I didn't have enough would I be able to recreate that same color again so what I did was yeah paint five boxes in one color five boxes in another etc etc so it was a little bit time consuming to do all of this you can see I've got my glass mat I would highly highly recommend using a glass mat this is my Tim Holtz one I do also have a 12 by 12 kit and caboodle one as well which is really helpful for um, when I ran out of space here on this glass mat I was able then to put them onto that glass mat so I definitely recommend trying to keep your surface tidy you can see I've got paint all over my hands um, but again that was because I was trying as best I could not to you know get paint necessarily on the bottom again because I wasn't sure if I was going to have enough paint you can see I've got these tiny little pots because I was afraid I wasn't going to have enough to do all of it I was really stingy um, and like I said didn't do the base uh, and, and or the inside either so that might be something I change next year possibly uh, but we'll see what happens then so this is the first color this is the ruby slipper and I want to say these are by indigo blue I believe I can't remember 100% and you can see then in the top right that I've got those two just smaller tubes of acrylic paint again um, that I did thankfully manage to have enough paint for so um, like I said this did take a little while it was a really lovely project to do we've got it downstairs in our dining room which you'll see a picture of like where it is um, at the end of this video and yeah I'm super happy with how this one turned out with my other MDF projects that I've completed in the past I haven't 
necessarily they haven't necessarily finished in the way that I really imagined them that I wanted them to be I I sometimes I find it a little difficult with projects like this it's not necessarily my forte um I do have a Lisa Horton lantern um as well which I think I'm going to include in my 25 days of Christmas if I'm not I'm definitely going to use it next year um which I might have a go at painting but I definitely do need to get some more paint um to complete those uh, so on to the next color is going to be the green. I think the, this green as well, I think I want to say it was called racing green or racing stripe green, something like that. And again, um, a little brighter than what I, what I really initially wanted, but I do love then the mix of shades as well. Uh, it's just something a little bit different. And what I was able to do, although it took me an embarrassing amount of time to do it, is each row and each column of boxes um, has all the five different colors and then you don't have the same colors in each row or column if that makes sense a little bit like sudoku with colors really um so it looked really really pretty though with then those five different colors so overall i'm glad that i did it but um yeah it definitely took a little longer um i did at one point switch to a i had a smaller paintbrush and i thought that was going to be easier to kind of um get that cleaner finish that i was looking for but it ended up taking so much longer so i want to say all of this painting including drying time because don't forget i needed to wait for it to dry after i did the white coat so i came back to it um I want to say it took me maybe like three hours possibly to do all the painting and then you know from, from sort of start to finish so it's definitely a labor of love but I think something like this is so cute because we can put whatever we want inside and like I said it's going to be for both of us so there's enough room in these drawers for us to both have something in there um and it's just something a little bit nicer maybe um I'm happy to have a regular chocolate um <laughs> advent calendar to be honest like no shame in that whatsoever um but it's nice I feel like this might be a little bit more of a grown-up option for us still to be able to yeah kind of have something uh, so next colour is this gold. Now this, again, I didn't even realise I had this, uh, but it was really pretty and it's added a nice little different dimension to the look of the uh, advent calendar as well. So I'm really glad that I had this colour. Sometimes with the gold, you don't always know how it's going to turn out, but I was super happy uh, with how these ones did turn out. So you could do something fancier with these as well. Like I said, this is going to be very basic for this year, but I'm hoping to kind of adapt it next year. But as I was doing this, as I was painting, I had an absolutely fantastic idea, um, not applicable to me. Um, so it's not something that we would be able to do, but how cute would it be if maybe you was planning to maybe propose or you wanted to take somebody on a trip? Um, <laughs> something where you want that bit of um like grandeur with them sort of finding it um imagine putting something in these boxes so you know if maybe if you plan to take your kids to like Disneyland for example like you could put like something in each of the different boxes um for it to like come together at the end or something or or if you're planning to propose to somebody maybe to you know on day 20 or you know, even Christmas Day, but, you know, to, to put a ring in that box because, you know, you can say you're not allowed to look um, in any of the boxes, obviously, beforehand if maybe one person filled them so it was a little bit of a surprise I just think something like that would be so cute if you're planning anything like that at Christmas um doing something like this something that's memorable something that's really fun and different I just think especially this time of year is just so wonderful um yeah just to just to I don't know make it more magical make it just make it so much better um you know I think yeah I think that would be um, just adorable so if you know someone who's proposing if you know somebody who is taking someone on a trip surprising them maybe it's um because my parents have a, a handmade box like this imagine like telling them that they were going to be grandparents for the first time by putting something into their box um you know you're going to see them on christmas day that you do the, the the christmas day number 25 i just think it would be such a cute idea go so back to the box so this is the green so this is more the kind of shades more traditional colors that i had in mind that i wanted to paint this but you can see how 
much deeper this color actually is but yeah I, I, because these were already used I just wasn't sure that I was going to have enough and I didn't really want to start and then not be able to finish and then have to change something kind of halfway through um that's really you know not ideal through the middle of a project certainly one that kind of takes um you know takes a bit of time like something like this um, so I'm going to get these finished up. Um, I don't think there's too much longer. I think it's just the red that we've got to paint. So I'm going to put just a little bit of music on um, just while I finish painting here. So this is how the finished box looks now those lighter red ones are a lot lighter and those lighter green ones potentially could use a second coat maybe um but again for this year this is how it's going to be but i really love how this is looking and in terms of what's going to go on top if you remember i'll try to link this a video i made or i painted this sorry um last year and this is going to sit on top again that might change for next year but certainly for this year that's what we're going to have on the top and so for the numbers now I had if you remember leftover uh, from the countdown to Christmas card kit we had these circle gold foiled numbers um but then we also had this sheet as well which had like decorated numbers and I really wanted to use these but some of them were too long and I trimmed them out just to have a look and I rounded a couple of the corners as well but to be honest I felt like they were too big which was sh such a shame because I would really l have loved to have used these ones but they were just kind of too big for the front of the boxes so I did decide to go with the circle foiled ones but I'm actually just going to blue tack these on this year because what I was thinking is maybe next year I could get some wooden numbers or find some other sort of decorations in that um, to be able to decorate the front of these so just to allow for a little bit more um, uh, to be able to change it next year I'm like I said yeah just gonna blue tack these on so thankfully we do have 25 of these as well um, they're not they don't seem to be cut of the straightest. If you look at that number one, you don't have a lot of white at the top and you've got a lot of white at the bottom. So not all of them are perfect, but that really doesn't uh, matter. But I am oh, just fiddling with my camera there just to try and be able to get more into focus. I really had to lift this up high and sort of zoom out all the way here. Um, but I needed to just trim off the little tabs on here which actually keep it connected to the um, larger piece of card and I'm just sort of placing the numbers down I wanted to make sure I didn't have too many not that it really matters but to have too many um, numbers that were kind of close to each other so I put them down just randomly um, and yeah I'm just going around now and just taking off all of those little tabs so if you do ever get any die cut um sheets and pieces if you do find that you have tabs on them I would recommend just cutting them off just just trim them slightly because it will give you a much neater finish a much more kind of professional finish I was planning to cut these down a little further like I said because some of them were a little off center with the cutting but 
yeah, I just decided to leave it. It doesn't really matter. It is handmade at the end of the day. Um, it's not meant to be perfect by any stretch of the imagination. Um, but like I said, yeah, I'm just gonna literally blue tack these onto the front of it. You know, you're only pulling out one tray per day. So, you know, it doesn't have to be the the most securest of, of things. Obviously, the, the scene that's gonna go on the top is just gonna be placed there. Um, and yeah, next I was thinking I might get some of those like fir trees. Maybe I might add something um to the top of it. Um, that's gonna be a little more permanent. And like I said, then for the front, I would love to do some wooden numbers or some wooden pieces, maybe add some tags, maybe each one's gonna be different. I'm not sure yet. So I can have a look, maybe what's in the sale uh, after Christmas in places like the works online, things like that. Um, I can see what pieces. Uh, I might want to pick up for next year just to decorate this a little further. But I'm super happy with this for this year. Something different and I can't wait to see what we put inside it. So that's just a little look. I'm going to bring back in this topper piece. Now, the one thing that put me off was the colours didn't really go. So that was one of the reasons why I might find something else next year to put on top and get everything kind of painted the same colours. But yeah, it's just something nice, something a little extra festive to add to our decoration in the dining room. And I really love how this came out. So this is it for this video and that's day number eight of my 25 days of Christmas. So here it is uh, in the dining room where we have got it. So come back and join me for tomorrow for day nine of my 25 days of Christmas. That's going to be it for this video. Thanks very much for watching and Merry Christmas.